Okay, so a little tip here. If you want to create tight, clean sections, all you gotta do is comb this out just like you're gonna put it in a ponytail. So everything should be even straight to the middle of this section. And then once I have it, I'm just gonna start twisting it and I'm gonna keep twisting it until it twists into itself. You twist it around itself and then you can just slide your clip up underneath, straight down, kind of matching up with the hairline. What that does for you is it's going to allow um, the fact that this is the, the front of the head and this is the back of the head and you have the same densities. So this density is the same here and then this density from the nape over is the same. So I know I'm working in the back of the head. Here's my sectioning, right? That's my sectioning. Really simple, three different sections. It doesn't matter if she's gonna wear this on the side part or a middle part until I go to cut it, but the back is totally separate. It's a separate haircut. So I, I want the back to either be three different things. It can either be balanced, like a square shape in the back. It can be round, following the round of the head with the layers, or we could start to push some weight forward, which in long layers, you're not usually gonna do. We're gonna start in the back and I'm gonna work a balanced shape. What is a balanced shape? Basically, what I want you to think of is if I have this comb and I put it straight out from the head like this, I wanna bring every section to this comb. If I bring every section to this comb, I'll cut a balanced shape because everything will be coming straight out to it and then we'll be good to go, right? So that's our horizontal line that we're creating. If I wanted to create a round shape, I put a roundness to this comb, so it'll kind of make it curved like this on the head and just bring everything out to the comb again. So depending on what you want, a balanced line or a round line, uh, you know, that's, that's your choice. What are the differences? A balanced line is gonna give you even layers and a little bit of uh, weight distribution towards the front. If, they have, if you have somebody with, let's say, finer hair and you don't wanna layer too much, if you wanted it to be round, maybe they have a heavy density of hair and you don't wanna push that weight to this corner, then you just round that line off and you have a much lighter appearance uh, with the layering. Also, depending on what you're gonna do in the front uh, could dictate that uh, decision as well. If you were gonna do extra layers in the front and you wanted those to connect into the back, then I would do round layering in the back. Now, we're gonna work round, and the way that we work round is starting vertical in the back. I'm gonna decide um, where I want my guideline, and then I'm gonna work around the head this way and around the head this way. Right, so it's gonna be a pivot. So popping to each section just like that. Um, what I'm gonna do is a traveling guide. So I'll cut my guideline and then once I move to the next section, that guideline will come over towards my next section to give me a new guide. And then it'll just continue moving across so that my layers stay the same length all the way around the head. So when you look at this circle, right, of all the layers that are gonna happen, they all kind of follow this path around the head. We're gonna work a vertical section straight down. It's like some of you guys might be thinking, well, you haven't cut the bottom yet. And to that, I would say, I don't cut the bottom until last. I'll dictate the bottom. I really wanna work on these interior layers. I don't want to dictate the interior layers based on the length that I cut the bottom, if that makes sense. So what I do is I go through, cut my interior, and then I'll clean up the exterior at the end. Working 90 degrees with the head shape, so the head shape's curving right here. I wanna make sure this top point is at 90 degrees. If it's not at 90 degrees, you're gonna get a heavy weight line happening within the haircut, and that's what I definitely don't want. So I'll lift the hair up, keep that top point, the tip of my fingers at 90, and I'll come through and start my line. And this line is going to work its way. There's really not gonna be much to cut towards the bottom because of the length of the hair. But I wanna continue this line out. So this line, I'll show you in a second. And I'll lose it right here at the occipital bone. Yeah, there's just a tiny bit to cut. So that line looks like this. Right, so it's just coming across and out. Just when you pick a line, you try to stick with it and just 
think of that's exactly where I want it to go. And then from here, I want that line to travel and shift like this. So every section I bring out is still gonna have that same line, but it's just gonna travel around the head. I take a pie-shaped section all the way down the head, comb the rest of this over, get it out of the way. All right, so now I'm gonna comb towards the new section. So I take my guide, it comes with me. That's why it's a traveling guide. It's coming with over top of the new section. Just like that. Bring it up, I can see the guide. Remember that line that we wanna cut? Just like that. Working through. And then after the occipital bone, we kind of run out. So now, we have a nice round shape to our layering through it. And we're just gonna continue the same thing on the opposite side. I'm not changing my body position. Now, what this will do is it'll create, so we got a, a lot of nice layers all in here. But you can see where it loses the density, which is another reason why I really like to cut the, um, why I like to cut the perimeter after the layers, because I wanna see how weak it looks. Because the goal is you want somebody to leave with a healthy haircut. I decided to go with a balance line in the back here, um, because I wanna push a little weight to the shoulders. So. Um, but look at that now. Look how nice the layers look, how clean the bottom looks. Um, nice. We wanted to do a side parting. So I've got this in the middle, but all I have to do is decide which side my client wants to part it on. And then all I'm going to do from that point is just part it at where they're going to part it. So we're going to go with a left side parting. Twist it, get it nice and tight out of the way. So now we've got, this is our part, okay? So let's discuss a part real quick. Now, when somebody has a center part, they've got equal amounts of hair on both sides, right? If somebody has a side part, they've obviously got less density on this part side, and they've got heavy density on the opposite side. That's what makes having a side part more difficult. So here's my Evo razor, brand new razor on our online store. You can check it out. Uh, freesaloneducation.com or shopfse.com. Um, but this thing, it's made of the same metal as a scissor. Uh, so it feels like a scissor in your hand and it's, I literally built it to fit perfectly in my hand, just like that. So you can see, um, got a really nice weight to it. So um, I'm gonna use that to soften the front of the hair. What I'm gonna do is I wanna pop some layers into the side of the head, but I don't wanna go so extreme to where I'm elevating all this hair and cutting it and making it weaker. Because if you weaken the part side, you're just gonna get a really, really less dense kind of flat feel to it. So I wanna keep some of this weight. You'll see just a nice little section. I'll do a little bit at a time, bring it over. And I love this area on the razor that I can just pinch and then I can work nice and tight in. So I'll come in here and then I'm just going to slide. Oh, I wish you guys could see this better. Come in here and just slide down. And that just starts to give me this short to long. Bring some more over. Slide. And now I've worked my way into that back portion. So some of those round layers are coming around the head now. So you can see all those layers that pop. Now I grab this portion here, which is going to be the top part of this section, right? So this is going to be 
her side parting, all this density. So not only do we have this chunk here, but we got all this hair that's gonna fall. So now we need the hair to be nice and light. So we're gonna bring this entire section, so here, and then I'm just going to work a razor just like that. Then I'll take this section and I'm just gonna add little air pieces to just soften the edge of that. Now, I let down the last bit of this section and then I'll comb the hair around the face. Grab a little piece as a guide from what I just cut. Come around the face. Yeah, it's gonna look nice. Someone will blow it dry. Pretty cool. JRL sent this over. Nice. Should have been using this the whole time. Look at this. Okay. This, the size, perfect. Quality, feels good. Ooh. So you can see the layers that we created throughout the front, all through the sides, you can see that. That's all just that movement with the razor kind of sliding and gliding it out, it creates those layers that open up and push off the face. It just creates a really nice look. And then you can see the round, roundness to these layers. If it was more balanced, like we talked about at the beginning, it would have gotten a little heavier towards the front here but because we went round, it connected with this roundness and just flows right into the back. So, um, so there you go.